Well, good morning, and uh, it, it's it, a nice morning for for many with uh, with some either rain in progress or rain earlier uh, here last evening or or even yesterday in some parts of the state. But uh, very welcome, and it's been a very very good soaking, steady rain, uh, the kind that uh, that we don't uh, or we can take advantage of. Want to start here looking at our week in review, and uh, it was another warmer than normal week. Our, our mean temperatures averaging about uh, two to as much as five degrees above normal for the week. Uh, it could have been higher, but but we cooled off a little bit uh, over the weekend uh, after the heat wave last week. Uh, but still, our, and if we, we look at our degree day totals, our seasonal totals beginning May 1, uh, still running now uh, a good several days to uh, maybe a little bit more than a calendar week ahead of normal. So we're, we're still, we had been pretty close to normal all uh, for much of the season. But over the last couple of weeks, we've uh, we've definitely advanced or, or are moving more quickly than normal. Uh, and, and again, for many, the big big story is is water and uh, precipitation. And these are totals here. These are through yesterday morning, and and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on right now. But we did have, uh, in some cases, the first uh, significant rain in several weeks uh, in some parts of the state. But uh, it generally, a half uh, to one inch of uh, of rain. Uh, in many sections. The, the, the real area that, uh, that missed the rain uh, late last week was up here in the far northern lower, but they had had more rain earlier, so it was uh, it's not as significant, but I think very noteworthy here across southern lower Michigan. We, many areas got a good half inch or more uh, of precipitation that was really, really needed, and some of the dryness that Chris talked about I'll, I'll uh, refer to here just a second. So a good week. Overnight here with the system, weather system that's currently going through the state, uh, generally about a quarter to half an inch in my place here um, in Hazlitt, I just about uh, 10 minutes ago, uh, 53 hundredths was what I got. And it was a, it was all a very, very steady uh, rain, the, the really, really good kind that, uh, that all, all soaks in or it has a chance to soak in. In contrast to what we saw some of last week with some very, very heavy rain. Uh, the dryness, and this again refers back to uh, some of what Chris talked about. Given the precipitation we've had this week, actually things are a little bit better off. There still is dryness across many parts of the Midwest, and, and some of it's uh, quite a bit of concern about. And then the driest areas in Michigan still are the southeastern lower and then the far western, uh, northwestern upper peninsulas. That's where, uh, again, the drought monitor had, uh, and this is still the current one they're issued here later on this morning. Uh, from the drought mitigation center, but uh, that is actually a little bit, but it's improved from what it was. Our uh, envi or our evaporative demand drought uh, index here, the eddy index, is actually improved a little bit over much of Michigan. What most of it, the state in the last week was in category two, which is in the driest 10%, but we've improved a little bit given the, the rainfall that we had la late last week. It actually should be a little bit better given the rain that we have right now. Well, speaking in the rain right now, uh, and we're our, on our weather map here this morning, there's a stalled out funnel boundary. And this is, this is the feature that caused or uh, brought the showers and thunderstorms. Much of northern Michigan has actually done pretty well with this, uh, this weather system uh, over the last 24 to 48 hours. But it's, it's only made uh, very, very slow progress to the east. You can see that the, they've actually drawn it here more now as a stationary front because it isn't moving. Uh, more importantly for the southern part of the state, We've got a little ripple of low pressure that's uh, that's basically moving from west to east here, and that is what's leading to the precipitation currently ongoing across uh, the southern southeastern portion of Lower Michigan. You can see that down here in the lower right. This is a an hour time lapse for the last hour, and uh, again, it's it's a it's a great rainfall. I think for most uh, most applications, most purposes, but uh, generally a steady light rain with embedded a little bit heavier showers, a couple rumbles of thunder here and there, but nothing out of the uh, out of the ordinary. And again, most areas here in the southeast should see an, at least another quarter of an inch before this comes to an end, uh, generally before noon. Uh, by, by late morning, we should see this exit. There is a chance that there will be a few uh, showers re-pop up or redevelop here this afternoon across, uh, well, mainly the southeastern quarter or third of the lower peninsula, but it would be very, very scattered or or maybe even isolated would be better, uh, best. Uh, otherwise, we will see clearing skies in most of the rest of the state, the north and the west. Uh, it will still be relatively warm. There's uh, very little in terms of uh, difference in temperature. Most areas will see high temperatures today, 
uh, generally around 80 to the, uh, the low 80. So not too far away from where we should be uh, normally. By tomorrow morning, high pressure uh, rolls in here at least temporarily. Uh, and there will also be, uh, it'll be sunny tomorrow uh, statewide uh, with, uh, with a little bit warmer temperatures. We should see highs tomorrow up into uh, the mid upper 80s and uh, a couple spots may push 90 degrees, but it will be under full sun. So tomorrow dry day for most of the state. Uh, but then by Saturday we have, uh, we're going to get a piece of the very, very warm humid air mass that has been uh, stuck over portions of south, well, a lot of the southern U.S., uh, we're going we're gonna to have a visit from that, for a several day visit from that, uh, and it will be here by Saturday, and you'll see, a, you will experience a noticeable increase in humidity, uh, and, and probably some, uh, well, probably heat advisory type conditions, uh, certainly on Saturday, even more so on Sunday, and possibly into Monday, and we'll see for most of the state high temperatures uh, above or at or above 90, maybe even some mid-90s in some portions. Just as importantly, our dew point temperatures will be increasing from uh, the mid, the uh, upper 50s to low 60s where they are now up to near 70 and that's that's pretty high uh, for Michigan but it's going to be very very uncomfortable we will have heat indices uh, on Saturday and Sunday probably up near 100 or maybe in the low 100 so a uh, very very hot humid weekend in store here and at the same time you can see on the weather map here for uh, Saturday morning there will be some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity developing. I think we'll see it on Saturday, mostly in the far northern part of the state uh, late in the day. And then that threat of uh, showers and thunderstorms shifts south and eastward on Sunday. And so for many areas, uh, if you're in the lower, especially in the southern or eastern lower, the best chances for, for uh, rainfall this weekend will probably be on Sunday. Keep an eye on, there, there's a chance that we could see some strong thunderstorms on Sunday, something just to watch here. It's a little bit far out right now. Uh, and then that chance will continue on into Monday when uh, this frontal boundary finally makes its way through. There's not much of a difference uh, in terms of temperature behind this, but it will be a little bit cooler by the time we get to Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. The other message with this particular pattern is it's pretty active. There's a lot of water vapor there, a lot of moisture to work with. And so we'll have almost a daily chance for showers and thunderstorms, but they will generally be on the scattered variety. So uh, your, your neighbor or uh, the neighboring county might get rain and you, you don't. Uh, I, I, I suspect we'll see a lot of that here uh, for the next, when we get into the weekend and then early next week, but there will be frequent chances for precipitation for much of next week. Still warmer than normal though, uh, as, as we look at the means. How much precip? Uh, most of the state you can see here, a half to one inch across lower Michigan, and then even a little bit better than that, more than an inch uh, possible here over the Upper Peninsula. So again, depends a little bit on where you are. The, uh, and, and a lot of this uh, rainfall here we see is again over the weekend and then into early, uh, early to middle part of next week with an almost daily chance. So it, it does accumulate. It's a fairly, I think a fairly favorable outlook, although there, the frequency of the rain is, or at least the threat is, is fairly high. Uh, potential evapotranspiration rates will still be a little bit above normal for the upcoming week. These are weekly totals, and you can see those range from about 1.2 inches to as much as 1.5. Translates to about two-tenths of an inch per day, and uh, for, again, for the second half of July, that's, uh, that's a little bit above normal, but we are near peak uh, of, of potential evapotranspiration for rates for the year, uh, so a little bit above normal, but not as high as what we had seen earlier here or the last, last few weeks. Medium range forecast guidance is still consistent. Uh, this jet stream pattern here, you can see forecast for uh, really a lot of the last week of July. You can see a broad ridging feature here across North America. And the main storm track here, which is really important in our precip forecast, but the main storm track just right along, again, the U.S. Canadian border, maybe even a little bit uh, north of the border. That's, that will be important for us. We're sort of on the, on the uh, downside part of this ridge here, and we still should see uh, relatively frequent chances for precipitation because the storm track is, is close enough to us. Uh, and this would be even more so as you go from south to north in Michigan. So uh, precipitation-wise, I would say the northern part of the state will probably come out better than the southern part, but that's, that's still a good thing. There will be parts of the Midwest, though, underneath this ridge and this feature, which has been pretty persistent. It's, we've, we've been talking about this 
uh, there will be parts of the Midwest that, that remain too dry or unfavorably dry. Uh, one message though that uh, that's very, very high confidence uh, and that is above normal or warmer than normal weather is likely to continue for much, if not all, of the remainder of, uh, of July and possibly into, into August. I did notice in the, uh, some of the four medium range forecast guidance overnight here last night, there was a hint of maybe a bit of a, a westward shift of this particular feature once we get into August, which would, would give us a little bit more moderate or probably normal type uh, of temperatures. But uh, I'd like to see that show up a few days before we, we start to think that this is temporary. But right now we are locked in a fairly consistent pattern and uh, Michigan, again, is, I think, going to be close enough to the storm track that we still will get normal. Maybe even if we, we could go do better than normal, I think, above normal here, especially for the next week, precipitation totals. Uh, but the warmer than normal theme continues. There will be a, uh, an update to the seasonal outlooks, the long lead outlooks coming out here a, a little bit later this morning, and we'll have a look at those, uh, those next week. So summarizing a very uh, summer-like forecast, we will see uh, rain continuing here in the southeast part of the state, uh, but, but elsewhere we'll gradually see cooling or <laughs> clearing, sorry, uh, skies and, and uh, drier conditions here by late in the day. That sets the stage for a pretty much a sunny and we'll call it hot and dry day on, on Friday. And then Saturday is that uh, next weather system approaches and we really get uh, our humidity levels back up, our dew point temperatures back up to 70, hot and humid here for uh, the weekend and then in early next week with again an almost daily chance for showers and thunderstorms more on the to the northern part of the state uh, late saturday and then shifting southward on sunday i think sunday is probably the best chance for rain uh, across much of of lower michigan and then next week warm and uh, and fairly active with an almost daily chance for showers uh, and thunderstorms and that's a lot of what we see in the medium range forecast guides as well with uh, again warmer than normal uh, conditions projected to continue. Uh, Precip, we'll, we'll see, but I, I would say at least normal, maybe even a little bit better than normal here as we move to, towards the end of the month and into early August. And I'll, I'll stop there and move ahead uh, with a reminder about next week's virtual breakfast next Thursday. We've got Dr. Marty Chilvers. He's a really busy person with regard to tar spot, and that's uh, both tar spot and white mold are on the agenda for, uh, for next week's meeting, so, so don't miss that. And with that, I'll wrap up here and, uh, and turn it over to, uh, uh, well, to Christina for questions or, uh, and or Phil. Thanks. All right, thank you, Jeff. Jeff, I have a question for you about the long-term outlook in August. I know a lot of our crops really need that rain in August, corn and soybeans to fill out and, and, and have I'm, good yields. What's the outlook, do you think, long-term into August for rainfall? I, and one thing I do can say with confidence, I think the warmer the normal, and again, we'll see here in a, in a couple of hours uh, with the new outlook, but I, I would be surprised if it were not still warmer than normal in August. Uh, precip, precip uh, is a good question, but I, I based on what I've seen recently, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking at least normal. Uh, but there, there have been hints in previous guides, I say that with a caveat because there have been some hints of of drier than normal. Some part of the Midwest, I would I, I also say important, and I mentioned this before, there, were, there will probably be parts of the Midwest where the, the outlook as we move into late August or late to July into August is, is going to be for warmer and drier than normal. Of course, that's, that's exactly, well, it's a, it's a problem. It already is a problem in some portions of the Corn Belt. And, and I think that that, that will be uh, part of this outlook, but I'm hoping that Michigan's far enough north and east uh, that, that there'll be more precipitation. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, a fence sitter uh, answer, a non-committal, but uh, I'm hoping for at least normal for, for uh, August precip. 